Okay, every single palette I have is here separated in piles by the different brands. Uh, so you can see I have all my color pops, everything. We're not gonna go in any particular order other than I will show it to you by brand. I'm gonna try to make this a quick one, but guys, this is every single palette that I believe I own. So we're gonna we're gonna go fast, okay? Let's go. I am going to try to be fair in this declutter, okay? If it's something I've not used, I will probably be parting with it, especially if it's something that I'm not using because it's not appealing to me. So we definitely wanna use the stuff that's in our collection, okay? So, um, where to start on this giant pile? Hello. Um, we're just gonna start with CoverGirl, okay? This is the only CoverGirl palette I have, which is shocking to me, in all honesty, and I even bought this this year. I know in past years I've had CoverGirl, um, I think it was individual eyeshadows though. So this one is Candlelight Burgundy. It was okay. Um, I've reached for it a few times after the video that I used this in, and it it's, it's good for drugstore, but I will say that I'm not like the biggest fan of the shimmers, but they work. They work for the price point they are. I think that they do, they do okay. I'm gonna keep that. And we're gonna just grab my Too Faced palettes. I still only have two. I have the Pretty Rich Too Faced, which is this beautiful thing, which even though I only use it maybe a couple times this year, and the shades and shimmers aren't working all that great, and the quality is going down because of the age, I still love it. It's still one of the first Too Faced products for me and it's beautiful packaging. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this still. Then I also have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, which was the other first purchase that I had. I believe I bought those two together. This one at the beginning of the year, I ranked pretty low. And then I brought it in to a project pan and got to play with it. And I fell re in love with this palette. The smell is still there, it still smells so chocolatey. Um, I will say for a neutral palette, this is awesome. So keeping that. Then we're gonna bring in the Ace Beauté. Beauté? I don't know, I always get that wrong. I have two palettes from them here. I thought I had a third one, but I can't find it if I do. Um, this one is the Falling For You, clearly a fall palette. Absolutely love this thing. Definitely gonna be keeping that. And the Nostalgia palette, which I love. This one I bring into a lot of different looks for a lot of different um, pops of color. Okay, right here, we're gonna talk about these two. So these two, from my understanding, which I have not really searched much, I don't like the lighting in this, guys. Hold on, hopefully that helps. Um, but I have not searched all that much, but from what I have found that these two are the same like umbrella company, but they are different companies and brands under that, but also owned together. So we have the Revolution brand and the iHeart Revolution. And then I do think that there is a third brand with this. So we have the Friends, the one with all of Thanksgiving. Um, this one I did a video on and I didn't go back and look at that. I'm just going off of memory here. Um, I do know that I did like the look that I got with these palettes, but honestly, what I liked the most about this palette was the friendsness to it, the cuteness, the amazingness. Um, this palette here, I think the shimmer worked well, but I really didn't like the other colors. This one here. Again, shimmers worked well, mattes worked fine, but I don't really gravitate to, to those. And then this one here, I believe was my favorite out of all of them. And I do like it, um, but these all go as a set. And so I'm gonna put these in the maybe pile because they are the only friends thing I have. And I'm sure you guys all know, we lost one of the friends this year and that makes me so but sad. Um, I'm considering keeping it just for that. So maybe this will get decluttered and put into like a shadow box drawer. I don't know, but that's also like a hoarding tendency. I don't know. I will either be decluttering these completely 
or they will be going into a shadow box. Either way, they're going out of my main collection. So I have this three set leaving my collection. Then from I Heart Revolution, we have the e.l.f. palette. If you saw all my palettes that I bought in 23, then this should look familiar to you. I have not used it yet, um, but I'm gonna show you it. So I don't really have that many thoughts on it. If you want to see a video on it, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just keep it for myself because it is an older one, but it is something that I really wanted. Um, color story, not traditionally Christmas, but that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and do Glam Light. This is the first palette I ever uh, got from Glam Light. I found it at TJ Maxx. It is the Icy uh, Blue Raspberry. They do have a red one. I will not be getting that. Um, this one has so many different shades of blue. And in the palette, it kind of looks like you would get just a bunch of the same colors on your eyes from it. But actually, these do work really well and they do get you enough different looks that I really do enjoy this palette. I do have two other items still on their way from Glam Light, so they're not making it into this video, but they did count in the palettes I brought in. They were the Garfield palette and the Hershey's Cookies and Cream palette. Then I have one palette from Violet Voss. I used to have another one. I think I decluttered it last year. Either that or it's misplaced, but I'm pretty sure I decluttered it. Um, All of You Forever, beautiful fall palette, especially if you like more browns and lots of different shades of brown. There is some green, not as much green as I expected to be in an olive palette, but I do enjoy this palette and the quality is amazing. Then I have two new to me palettes and a new to me brand. This is Clarity Cosmetics. I have the Evil Mermaid here, which is the one I believe that is discontinued. I think I said it wrong in the previous video. This one is another blue with some purples type of palette. I have yet to use this, so hopefully my thoughts will come on that soon. The other palette is Safari. Again, I have yet to use this. Really cute packaging from both of them, but look at those. Those shimmers in the palette look beautiful. I really hope that it has the same, I hope it translates to my eyes just as beautifully. Okay, here we have Aether Beauty. This is still, I believe, the only palette I've ever had from them, um, and I have still yet to use it, but even though I probably should, I'm not going to discontinue this because I have had it in my collection for quite a long time, so discontinuing it, it would need to be trashed. Um, because it just it doesn't have much life left to it I would assume but I love the packaging I absolutely love the packaging the color story is actually looks really cute to me even though I don't know that I could get that many different colors on my eyes with it like different looks I still want to try this I still want to give this brand a try I have swatched it a couple times you know what there's enough little marks in here that maybe I have used it once I just don't remember using it so if I have used it, that's actually kind of bad. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to give this one some love this year for sure. BH Cosmetics. This is the only one I have from them. Um, this was a TJ Maxx find. It's the looking like a snack. I don't like the way it opens. Like I feel, I I don't like that. It should have been like this. But you know, it is what it is. It does have a cute mirror. It does have really fun names. I've never opened it. I've never swatched it. It's still completely sealed. And honestly, with the exception of this yummy white shade and thought and dirty talk, I and maybe bootylicious. I don't think I'm gonna want to use this. And I really wanted to give this a try because I've never tried their formula before, but this isn't a color story that I have reached for at all this year. So I think, I think it's time to declutter this. And because it is brand new and it's not old and it's completely still shrink wrapped, I'm actually going to add this to one of my giveaways that's coming up. So if this looks like a palette you want, make sure you are subscribed so you have a chance to possibly win this. Okay, then we have Natasha Denona. I still only have three from them. I'm really shocked that I only have three because I had anticipated buying a couple more from her this year, but I just didn't. 
quality is amazing. I have here the Cupid five pan palette, the Anya five, pa five pan palette. Hopefully you guys are seeing this really well. The lighting is kind of interesting here. Um, and then finally the Jubilee five pan palette. Beautiful quality, beautiful colors. Like I said, I am shocked I didn't end up getting more from her this year, but you know, there's always next year. Okay, let's do this one. This, I believe, is the only palette I have from Essence Beauty. This is something I tried new this year. This is the Hollow Berlin palette, um, and I was pleasantly surprised. The layout is pretty. The pans are decent size. The colors are really good, and honestly, I reach for this a lot more than I thought this year. So I'm definitely keeping that one, and I highly, highly um, encourage you, if you like this this color story, to look into this palette. Okay, then we have Eloise. I still have two items here from Eloise. I have the Queen palette. This one is another beautiful color story, beautiful bright colors and shimmers. I love this one still. I dig into this quite often. I don't really use it as a palette by itself, but it's a palette that I do use with other um, palettes. So absolutely keeping that one. Then we have the Sahara Nights, which I have yet to use. Guys, this one looks beautiful and I thought I was gonna use it, but I haven't even swatched it. I haven't even removed the cover from it. So I'm going to go ahead and part with this one before it gets too old. And I am, because it is very new, still has the cover and it's never been swatched, I am going to go ahead and add this also to the giveaway. So decluttering and adding to the giveaway. Somebody else can get some fun love with that one. Okay, over here I have the Revlon palette, or sorry, the Rimmel London palette, not Revlon. I've had this one for such a long time and honestly, I feel like the color story is good. I don't like the pan layout and I don't like the pan sizes. I especially don't like this little brush it comes with, but I feel like the color story was there and when I first got it and now when I used it for a long time, I do feel like it was good. But as I have added other things to my collection, I've left this alone and I found plenty of other formulas that I like a lot better and honestly, this is getting very old to the point that, like I don't know if you can see there in that purple, but it's starting to, it's definitely starting to look old and the formula is not um, working as well. It's definitely changed, it's definitely starting to dry out. So I am going to go ahead and completely declutter and discard this one because this one didn't bring me this one doesn't have an emotional story to it or this one doesn't have an emotional pull so it's just going straight to the trash it's it's old and we don't want to put old things that are starting to turn on our eyes all right so this one is a declutter okay over here i have two of the newer palettes to me these are from nomad cosmetics i am so in love with this brand so far um, I probably need everything from them. Now I have yet to actually use this first palette here, but I have swatched it and the swatches feel amazing and the color story is amazing. This is the Iceland Fire and Ice. Beautiful palette, beautiful color story. Those oranges really do swatch really well and I cannot wait to play with this. Then also from Nomad, I have the Ghost Towns USA, and guys, this thing is amazing. The palette itself is just gorgeous, gorgeous. I cannot get over what they did here. Um, I grew up really enjoying Westerns, and this just, this was amazing for me. And the color story inside is just so beautiful. And it swatches so well. I have used it, um, I want to say twice now on my eyes. So I am going to continue to play with this. But so far, absolutely love this. Cannot recommend this enough. Okay, moving on. We have Ofra Cosmetics. Okay, guys. 
I didn't place as many orders with them this year, so I believe outside of one of these, this is all the same as last year. So this first one I have is the Mini Mix Palette Good To Go. This one is a face and the eyeshadow, like an all over face palette. Um, the eyeshadows are what I'm talking about here today. I will say that the quality is really, really good, but I only really use three shades from this. I did use this red last year for a Christmas look. Outside of that, I use these two shimmers here, which this green is beautiful, and this shimmer here. I'm really hoping that you're able to see that really well. Let's, let's just show you this green, okay? This green, guys, oh my goodness, it is beautiful. Oh, wow. Okay, I can't get over this green. This green is what makes the palette for me uh, and why I will probably never part with this palette because I love it. Now, I might be able to depot it. Actually, I should be able to, um, but I'm not at that point right now because I do use the other shimmers and I want to play with those. I don't know why I forget about them. So this one's staying. Then this is the new palette for this year. I got this in one of their scoops. This is the Pro Palette Urban Wanderer. This is a huge, heavy palette. The mirror in here is really nice, but very heavy. Uh, the colors in here are really fun. Um, yeah, they're just really fun. <laughs> um, they are really fun. I do like the black shimmer, which is over here. Um, I haven't played much with these colors, but from everything else I've played with, it's been really nice and I'm really excited that I have this one in my collection. Now, before I put this one away, we're gonna talk about another Ofra palette, okay? So there is a palette that I know I am parting with and it is from this collection here. Um, this is the Luxe Holiday Set, includes the Luxe Signature Palette, a, and then a lip gloss and a liquid lipstick. I have never opened it, swatched it, anything. And so I am putting this in a giveaway as well. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. Um, but the deciding factor on this wasn't because I didn't like this, because I really like this, and I like that size, like travel size thing. But the problem is, that's not a color story I would travel with, and it looks so similar to that first row there. So that was my deciding factor to part with this one. Keeping this one, parting with this one. I apologize, because it looks like my light keeps changing a bit, and it's because I use a mix of natural light and ring light, and I am working on lighting. I am, but I apologize, and I appreciate those who sit through it. Okay, last two, I believe, from Ofra Cosmetics. I have the Ofra X, oh gosh, I can't remember how she says her name. You can read it. Um, she is here on YouTube. She's a beautiful YouTuber based out of New York who does wonderful makeup. Um, she did this collab with them and it had a palette, a liquid lipstick, and a lip gloss. I've already taken out the lip products, um, but this here, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, but I forget about it. Um, but I have a signed box. I wish that Ofra would stop doing the signed boxes and instead do the signed palettes, because I'd rather just hold on to this and get rid of this, but I'm keeping this because it's signed. I don't know. I'm gonna keep this still, and if I don't use it by next year, I might power with it. Don't hold me to that, because it's beautiful. Maybe I should store this outside of the box. I don't know, I'll make that decision later. Okay, then I have this Ofra Cosmetics um, collab. You can also read that name there because I have butchered that too many times and I forgot to look it up before starting this. This is another signed thing. I don't actually know this creator that much. I know I've watched a few of her things. She's beautiful. She seems very sweet, but I have not watched much of her stuff, so I don't have that much of a tie to her. Um, this pack just came with a palette and then a liquid lipstick, which I believe I've taken the liquid lipstick out. The palette is still in here, and I don't remember if I've used this. Let's see. Okay, so I think I have used this once or twice. 
because there is a little marking there. Oh yes, this blue. This blue I have definitely used. I will say Ofra does their shimmers so beautifully. I'm gonna show you that. Look at that guys, it's gorgeous. Let's just put it right there next to that green. Oh my goodness. This one um, does work best, I find a little wet, but it builds so nicely. Like, look at those two together. Ooh, I just had an idea for a look. Why have I not thought of that before? So this one, if it wasn't for that blue and this shimmery transition pink, I would probably part with this because I don't reach for it anymore. So maybe I will depop those and part with the rest. I don't know. For now, I'm keeping them. But I do stand by my thing. I wish the palettes would be signed and not the packaging. Oh, this one isn't the packaging. This one's just a slip, which is kind of even weirder to me. I don't know. I have to rethink how I store these things and if I want to continue to store them. Okay, we're getting to the end. We only have one, two, three, four more brands to talk about, okay? Yes, they have a lot in them, but that's, that's, a, different, that's a different topic, okay? So first we have e.l.f. This is the 18 Hit Wonders palette. This one I did bring in this year, I believe, for one of my Project Pans or my Project Level Up, something like that. And I really found that it was a good drugstore palette. Like, I don't know why I neglected it for so long. I am gonna keep this. I will say, even though I like that yellow, it is a little difficult to work with. Some of the shades in here are a little patchy and you do have to blend them quite a while but the quality for a drugstore is actually really good. And the color story is amazing to find. So keeping this still, it is getting old, but I am gonna go ahead and continue to keep this because I do actually bring it in with some other palettes. All right, then I have a whole bunch of the bite size palettes and it was originally my goal to own them all. But then they kind of slowed down with making them. And then some of the ones that came out had different quality than the others. And I kind of stopped. So these, I believe, with the exception of maybe one, maybe, um, I had at the beginning of last year as well. Um, actually, maybe all of these I had at the beginning of last year. I don't fully remember. If you want to see that video, I will link it above. Um, but we're going to go through these because I don't need them all. I'm no longer in that I want to collect them all because honestly, they're not coming out with that many more and the quality has been different every time and the pricing has changed. And if the pricing stayed the same and the quality stayed the same or got better, then I would probably continue. But since it hasn't, I'm not. So let's go through these because we're going to declutter some, okay? This one is a keep for sure. This is the Berry Bad. I want to say this is probably my favorite from them. I do absolutely love this. I can make a decent amount of looks with it, but I do wish it had a fifth shade. That is my biggest problem with these. Well, that and the fact that the packaging is pretty cheap, but I'm keeping that one. This one is Acai Yu. This one is harder to make a lot of different looks with, but it is beautiful colors and I have used it and I think I'm going to keep it for now. Then I have the Mint Melt Mint 2B. This one was in a project. I don't remember which one, but it stayed in it for quite a long time because it needed quite a lot of uses. Through using that, I found that it was kind of difficult to make too many different looks with this, but I did really enjoy the shimmers. Um, and so I'm going to keep that for now because I have used it and I do enjoy the shimmers. Um, the mattes work great. They just, I have to use other palettes along with this in order to use those. So, but I'm gonna keep that for now. Then we have the Carnival Candy. This color story, I do not like. I like, I, I like that they did a pop of color, that blue is beautiful, but I feel like they could have replaced this matte with a different color because we have three mattes and one shimmery in here. And I feel like they could have done something different with this one, but I have dug into this quite a bit. In fact, I think outside of the this one, this is my most used one because it's almost 
it's got some divots in it. Like it looks like it might actually hit um, pans in. Uh, so I am going to keep this one for now. Okay, then we have one that I have yet to open. This one is the shade Truffles. And this one's really pretty, okay? It has a what looks to be a silver shimmer, a matte light brown, a matte a deeper brown, and then a black. And this actually reminds me of the Natasha Denona palette. It reminds me a little bit of this one where we've got the silvery shimmer. Those look pretty similar in there at least. Uh, these are clearly not the same shade, but they're going for the same vibe. Then um, if you move down here, you've got this one, which is darker like this one, but this one is clearly dark in the elf. And then it just, it just gives me the same little vibes and I've been wanting to compare them and I just keep forgetting. So I am gonna keep this one for now to be able to eventually do that comparison. Um, but if I don't do it soon, I will declutter this soon. Okay, then we have another one that is not opened. This is the Hot Jalapeno. This one I was very excited about, especially for that yellow shimmer there, I did, or goldish yellow, I don't know. I do not have anything like this in my collection, and that's why I'm holding on to it. I want to give this a shot to see if I might like greens like this uh, before I spend a lot of money on maybe other brands. So I'm gonna keep this for now. Then I have the Mint Melt Chocolate Mint, and this one I do like better um, because I feel like even though it's got two browns and then two matte browns and then two shimmers, the shimmers are different enough from each other that I feel like you can get a lot of different colors on this. I have opened this, but I don't think outside of swatching this, I have actually used it. So I am gonna keep it, but if I don't use it at all this next year, I'll probably be decluttering it. We're not doing so great here, guys. I don't think I put anything in the declutter from this yet. Uh-oh. All right, then we have this one. This one is cream and sugar, and this one also makes me think of a Natasha Denona palette. Even though these are clearly not the same, this one gives me the vibes of this one. Uh, this one I have opened, so I can open it and show you. Maybe these are also very difficult to open. Oh my goodness, okay, there we go. There's the Elf one. And then the Natasha Denona one is clearly darker, but kind of gives similar vibes, at least when you see them separately. Like when I see this, I think, oh, I think I have that in Natasha Denona. And then when I see this, I'm like, oh, I think I have that in Elf. Seeing them together, they look a lot different from each other, but like those shimmers there kind of match up. I don't know, I think I wanna do a video with this as well, especially because I already opened this. If I hadn't opened this though, I would have actually decluttered this one. But this one is open, so I might as well see what I can do with it. All right, we're almost done. Are we actually getting ready, rid of any of these? Let's see, the next one is Rose Water. This one is not open. Um, and this one is, I think, newer. It was in the collection at the beginning of the year, but I think it was like one of the newer purchases I made. And this one, it looks really pretty, especially that one there. I don't know if you can tell, but it has like a, a dark brown with some gold shimmers in it. And this one looks so, so pretty, but I think I do need to part with it because I don't, outside of this shimmer here, I don't see myself wanting to open this and reach for this. So I will be declaring this because it's not that old and it is 100% sealed. I am also going to add this to my giveaway. So declutter and giveaway for this one. And then the last e.l.f. palette is Pumpkin Pie. I was so excited for this one. And then I got it, like I bought it and I was still excited, but then it just has sat here. And these shimmers look beautifully, beautiful. And this matte looks really pretty too, but I just don't think I'm gonna use it. I just, I just don't think, and it is again, not old and it is still completely sealed. So not only am I going to declutter it, I'm also going to add it to the giveaway. Okay, so we parted with two from e.l.f. That's not as many as I had wanted to part with, but you know, progress, progress was made. Little bits at a time is fine. 
Okay, next I have one palette from Studio Makeup, and it is Sheen and Fate is the name of the palette. I got this in a BoxyCharm or Nipsey or one of those things, I want to say earlier this year or at the very end of last year. And guys, no, it was at the very end of last year, maybe, I don't know. If I did get this in this year, this should have been in my every palette I received this year, but it wasn't. So that's why I'm thinking the end of last year. I could be wrong, I may have made a mistake, I don't know. I, outside of swatching this, have not used it, and I don't even remember swatching this, but this one palette desk does have a little marking on it that looks like a swatch, but nothing else has it. So that's why I'm thinking I have, because it looks like maybe I have swatched it, even though I know I haven't used it, I am gonna go ahead and keep it. Um, No, no, I'm not. I'm not going to keep it. I am going to declutter it. It won't be in the giveaway because it's been somewhat touched. Um, I will see if a friend wants it though. I have a lot of friends who like more neutral colors, so they'll probably want this. So I will be decluttering this and I am sad to do that because I wanted to know what this formula was like, but I just, I know myself and I'm not going to grab it. So it's going bye bye Okay, we have two more brands to go. We're going to start with Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place. Oh, my Juvia's Place. Okay, first we have a blushed rose. Beautiful, beautiful palette. I actually enjoyed using this a lot more than I thought I was going to um, because I don't really do a lot of pinks and reds, but I brought this into a project and actually fell in love with this. Now, I will not be purposely buying more pink and red um, palettes just because I fell in love with this because I do think it had to do with these exact tones and this formula. So I am keeping that, but I don't think I'm gonna buy more um, like that. So then I also have the Bronze Rustic, which I have not used, which I am shocked by because this is the one that I bought this two pack for, <laughs> but that one looks beautiful. It does. I'm keeping it because I want to try it. I love the Juvia's Place formula, so I don't foresee parting with anything that I haven't used at least. Okay, then I have the Magic Mini. Like, their cover art is gorgeous, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. This one does still have the cover over it but i know that i have used this because there's little divots here there's little divots here uh, and even in the mats there's little divots so i know i've used this i think i just kept this on here because some of the shimmers um like you can see maybe down here kind of spread a little bit easier so that's why i've kept this on here but this is a beautiful beautiful palette absolutely gorgeous definitely keeping that then we have the Zulu palette, which has bigger pans. I have used this at least a couple times this year. Um, I really like it. Like, I like the size of the pans, but I wish that there was maybe one more row to give a little bit more variety, but I do really like it. Like, these colors are gorgeous. Absolutely freaking amazing. Uh, let's see, we have a green and a blue already on my hand. Let's swatch, let's swatch this purple. This is a matte. It's so soft, so pretty. Look at that, guys. Oh, I think I just made a beautiful color story. I might have to try that on my eyes. Wow, okay. Be on the lookout, there might be a color like this coming to my eyeballs soon. Okay, first we have the Culture Palette, which I have used. I just like keeping it in the container and sleeved and everything. Look at that, guys. Beautiful, beautiful palettes. If you want to see more multi-looks with one palette videos, let me know. Those honestly take a lot of time and a lot of work to film, but they're my favorite to film. However, they do not do well for views. 
So that's why I've been doing them very scarcely. So if you do want to see anything from a specific palette, let me know and I will definitely look into doing those. And then we have the Culture 2. Again, I have used this. I just like to keep it stored. These are beautiful, not only beautiful color stories, but beautiful artwork. Like the detailing that goes into this is gorgeous. And then the colors you get are just amazing. Guys, I cannot tell you how in love with Juvia's Place I am. Like their color stories, their everything like is just beautiful um i have not tried much from outside of their eyeshadows so i don't know much about the rest of their line okay guys lastly but not least we have color pop color pop is definitely a contender for the most from one brand that i have um outside of the elf because of all those mini palettes i believe um, so let's just, let's just dive in. So, uh, first we're going to talk about this one. This is Flutter By. This is a purpley palette from them. R really pretty. Very more, much more on the neutral when it comes to purples and browns and those type of tones. I really enjoy it. Uh, well, I enjoy the color story. I have this in a project pan, guys, and I have yet to use it and I feel so guilty about that so yeah I think this video is coming out after that update so if you haven't watched that video spoiler this didn't get used unfortunately but I am keeping it because I bought it because I love sparrows and butterflies that is the channel name of my original channel which I will be going back to to do um non-makeup related things hopefully here soon um but I love this and I am keeping this. I shouldn't, but I am. I just am. Okay? Okay. Then I have this Star Wars collection. I believe there's only four in this collection. And then there's like another like larger pan palette or larger palette that they have, which I want, but I don't want because it doesn't fit this size and it doesn't fit that size. And honestly, those are the only two sizes I want to keep because it, it stores better when they all match. Anyway, um, <laughs> I believe this is the one that I brought in this year. This is the Mandalorian. This one I feel like goes wonderfully with the colors of the Mandalorian, but it is a palette that I have not reached for yet, even though it's adorable because it's not colors that I've really been wanting this year. So hopefully next year I will dig into that and give that some love. Then I have a C3PO. This is where I need to try, okay? I need to get into the yellows to see if I like yellows, okay? Um, this one, again, I have not tried, but it's a beautiful palette. Beautiful palette, and I, I'm very glad to keep it in my collection. Then I have the Vader palette, and um, guys, this one is really, really cool. And I'm really shocked that I haven't reached for it because this color story I could do so much with and I feel like would look really good on my skin tone and I don't know. I don't know why I forget about it. I don't know why, but I'm not gonna forget about this here. I'm going to use it. And it is staying in my collection. And then this one that will probably never leave my collection. Um, this is called the Child Palette officially. His name is Grogu. But if you're original, if you're OG, you probably still call him Baby Yoda. Because Baby Yoda is him. And it is just the cutest packaging. Absolutely the cutest packaging. He's one of my favorite characters of all time. So I will never be partnering with this. To, I don't think I will. But also the color story is really pretty. And I have reached for this. I wouldn't say all that often because I don't wear all that many greens. Um... But this palette, I believe, is the palette that let me know I could wear green. So, um, I really do enjoy this. I feel like they did a great job of making this very usable, but also making it fit the theme. Like, this is one of the palettes that they did completely right. And the formula is really nice. 
Okay, then we have Wine and Only, and when you guys saw this in my collection last, it was for last year's collection, and I had said that I hadn't used it yet, and I was kind of afraid because I don't do reds and pinks. Um, but guys, I used it. I did end up using it, and I actually liked it a lot more than I expected. I still don't consider myself somebody who uses a lot of reds and pinks, and so therefore I am trying to not buy things with red and pink in it. Um, but I actually really like this one, and I'm gonna keep it. This is the only one I've ever had from this, like, plastically, pas plastic um, cases from them, um, and probably the only one because I don't like the plastic case. But I think this is really nice. If you are somebody who likes reds and pinks, this is a good palette to look into if it's still available. And I think this is really, really good for like Valentine's Day looks. All right, the last pile, the very, very last pile are my ColourPop Mega palettes. I still want to own all of them. And this year I made some progress, okay? So first we have the Gittin Fresh, which is beautiful springy colors. These are different greens than what I'm used to using, so I'm gonna um, have some fun trying to see if I like them. This one does have a lot more like neutral colors than I expected it to have. Like when, I don't know, when they, when I saw this palette, like I saw how many were in here, but I would have, I think that they would have done better if they had less browns and taupes, okay? Because we've got what? We've got like one brown there, brown there, brown there, a grayish, uh, a reddish brown, a taupe, a pinky brown, a grayish brown, an orangey brown, and a light orange, a light orangey pink. Like I feel like they could have gotten rid of one of these and done a brighter color for those. And then I feel like they could have Done away with this color. This color looks boring. Anyway, that's just my my two cents. They mean absolutely nothing to anybody but me. Or maybe you also agree, I don't know. Then I have the Stone Cold Fox, which I was so excited. I have been wanting this one since the moment it came out. And guys, uh, I don't know why I am the way I am, but I have not used it at all. But look at how pretty it is. I don't know. I just keep forgetting about it or like I don't I this year I really didn't reach for these type of colors and I think that really played a part in everything this year. So um I will hopefully play with it next year. Maybe I'll be more into these cool tone um things. I hope those are cool tone. I don't know my I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Moving on, then we have Play a Jewel, which is uh, my newest purchase from ColourPop and the only mega palette, I believe, that doesn't open from the top. <laughs> Beautiful packaging, and I have not had a chance to play with this because I did just get it, but look at those colors. Hopefully this is showing up really nicely for you because this color story is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to dig into this, but also I want to make a note that there are so many colors here that like, I feel like they could have done a couple things different. So I don't think that they needed that one and that one, even though they're completely different. I feel like that was too much. These two, I feel like they could have picked one. Yeah, I know I'm nitpicking right now. Okay, moving on. Then we have the Aurora Struck. It is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Like the packaging is gorgeous, but then the inside. I actually used this non-stop for so many months that I had to put myself on a three month ban from this. And guys, let me tell you, as soon as that three month ban was up, I went straight to this. And it's a good thing I did that three month ban because that's the only time I really played with other palettes outside of like project pans or like trying them because I just got them. This palette is beautiful. You can do so much with this palette and the quality is amazing. I really hope to see more brands come out with this and honestly, we did. Just in the last month, I'd say, we saw a couple brands come out with very similar color stories. 
All right, then we have Bare Necessities, and guys, this is my go-to neutral palette because it has so much variety and so many of the tones that I, that I use, and look how messy that is. <laughs> that is not because anything has fallen out. That is because I use this palette to death, okay? I don't think there is a single shade in here I have not used. Um, I definitely have shades that I use more than others, but I go into this palette anytime I need a neutral look, or even if I want just like a, um, a transition shade with a colorful palette that doesn't have anything for me to use. So this palette is clearly a loved, loved palette. I have even tried cleaning it a few times and obviously it doesn't stay very clean. And lastly, we have the Smokin' Hot from ColourPop. This one I was very excited for, but I have shockingly not used it nearly as much. I want to say I've used it two, maybe three times, but it is a beautiful palette. It's got so many different oranges and reds and some like deeper pinks. And I don't know, again, I don't, wear reds and pinks so the fact that i bought this i bought this really for the oranges in all honesty and there's lots of shades in here i have yet to dig into so i really don't want to say much about this palette but i was very excited for it and i still am happy i have it but i don't know that i'm going to be able to do much with it but we'll see time will tell time will tell Okay, so on the screen, I will put the starting number of palettes we started with because I forgot to count before this. So, da, 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 this is what we started with. And now, let's see, what are we going down? What have we decluttered? All right, guys, and this is our declutter basket. Not this. Ignore this. Ignore that. All right. How many did we declutter? Well, we got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because there's three in here. So we decluttered ten from my collection. I think, I think that's actually a really good amount um, for decluttering. I decluttered things that I know I was going to use again. I decluttered things that I knew could get better love elsewhere. And guys, the ones that are brand new that are getting put into the giveaway, this is just a little glimpse into what's coming in the giveaway. So make sure you are subscribed so you do not miss that, okay? Thank you guys so much for for watching through to the end. I truly appreciate you. Leave me a comment below and we will catch up there. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.